السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, we'll continue basic ECG course and third presentation about ECG leads my name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi I am emergency medicine consultant uh, 12 lead ECG means uh, two types of leads there is hexaxial leads and precordial leads hexaxial leads contains uh, limb leads which are lead one two and lead three and augmented leads, which are lead AVR, EVL, and EVF. The precordial leads uh, from V1 till V6. Let's start with the limb leads, uh, lead one and two and three. These all are bipolar leads, means that it measures the difference between positive and uh, negative points. And all have two opposite physical poles. Lead one has a positive electrode in left arm, negative electrode in the right arm, and the ground electrode in the left foot. This is lead one. And as we said before, the lead direction when move from negative to positive. Lead two is a positive electrode in left foot, negative electrode in right arm, and ground electrode here in left arm. So this is lead two from negative to positive. Lead three is positive electrode in uh, left foot, negative electrode in left arm. This is, sorry, lead three from left arm to left foot. And the ground electrode is in right arm. So uh, after that, augmented leads, which all are unipolar leads, augmented AVR and AVL and EVF. AV means augmented voltage lead, and it measures the, it's uh, augmenting the energy over right arm, left arm, and left foot. So AVL means left arm, AVR means right arm, EVF means left foot. All of them uh, uh, consider the heart is a central uh, terminal and is a negative electrode for all of them. So if we want to uh, uh, see all uh, hexaxial leads, central uh, uh, terminal is the heart and EVR will be directed from here to uh, uh, right arm. EVL will be directed from here to EV, uh, left arm, and EVF will be directed from the heart to left foot. So each lead will have its own angle. This is for augmented lead. For limb leads, lead one from right arm to left arm, lead two from right arm to left foot, and lead three from left arm to left foot so if you want uh, or if you can just keep the angle and move each limb lead to intersect in the heart it will be with the same angle this will be the angle for lead one this will be the angle for lead three and this one will be the same angle for lead two right now we can put hexaxial uh, uh, leads we can add the augmented leads and the limb leads will give us the hexaxial reference system, means that the six leads, limb leads, and the augmented leads, each lead will look to the heart with a certain angle. Lead one will start from, uh, will be here, it's angle zero. Lead two will be angle 60. EVF will be angle 90. If, uh, uh, lead three will be angle 120, and EVL will be minus 30 and minus 150. This is for hexaxial leads. For the precordial leads, all our unipolar leads are placed in a specific places on the chest and look for the heart from the front and around the left side of the heart. This is from V1 to V6. V1 placement will be in the right side of the sternum in the fourth intercostal space. Lead two will be in the left side of the sternum on the fourth intercostal space. Lead four will be in a left midclavicular line on the fifth intercostal space. Sorry, this is for lead four. 
and between lead two and lead four will put the lead uh, V3, uh, which is a midway between V2 and V4. V5 will be in the uh, uh, anterior, left anterior axillary line in the fifth intercostal space, and lead, lead six will be on the mid axillary line in fifth intercostal space. This all the six precordial leads. So this leads look to the heart from which angle, as we said before, EVL in, uh, from the left side together with lead one, this look to the heart from left lateral side with angle minus 30 and angle zero. Lead two, AVF and lead three, we look to the heart from the inferior wall of the heart angle 60, 90, and 120. And uh, uh, AVR will look to right atrium, which actually non-specific for any disease. For the chest leads, lead V1 till V6, lead V1 and V2 will look to the heart from this side. Actually, right ventricular wall is very thin. So actually they look to the septum. So we called it septal leads, lead three and lead four, we look to the heart for the anterior wall of the left ventricle. Lead V6 and V5 will look to the lateral wall of the left ventricle. The same if we put all 12 leads together, we will have a three dimensional view V1 and V2 septal views, V3, 4 anterior wall of the uh, left ventricle five and six together with lead one and AVL will look to the lateral wall of the uh, left ventricle. Lead two, AVF and lead three will look to the inferior wall and uh, uh, VR, as I mentioned, not specific. This is the 12 lead uh, ECG. Additional leads, uh, uh, before additional lead, again, to summarize one and AVL lateral, left lateral leads, two, three, and AVF inferior leads, and uh, V1, V2, interventricular septum, V3, V4, anterior left ventricle, five and six lateral surface of the left ventricle. When arranged in the ECG paper, you will find lead one and AVL lateral leads together with V5, V6. V2, three, and the AVF inferior uh, uh, wall, V1, V2 is a septal, leads and V3 and V4 anterior wall of the left ventricle. Additional leads can be uh, ordered like right chest leads. Usually we do right chest leads if we suspect right ventricular infarction, which uh, usually accompany inferior wall myocardial infarction. We move V3, V4, V5, V6 to the same places on the right side. So we'll bet both V3 uh, right on the same place of V3, V4 right in the same place, V5 and V6 right in the same place, but on the right side, this will give us a view to the right ventricle. And it's much more specific to right ventricular infarction, and it's mandatory to do it once suspect right ventricular infarction in inferior wall myocardial infarction. Uh, also, there is posterior leads. We do it if we suspect posterior wall infarction because till V6, we cannot see the posterior wall of the uh, left ventricle. So we add V7, V8, and V9. Usually we do this leads when the patient is lying on his uh, uh, right side, lateral uh, right side. We put V7 on the same level of V6, fifth intercostal space, but posterior axillary line. And we put V8 uh, on the tip or blue the tip of left scapula and V9 in the left paraspinal region on the left level of uh, V6 or fifth intercostal space. Also, we do posterior leads when we suspect posterior wall myocardial infarction. We'll speak about in the myocardial infarction presentation when to suspect posterior wall infection. Thank you so much and see you in next presentation.